Hello, I'm Lisa Horseman. I'm the creator of a new book for Great Smoky Mountains Association called Sabrina, A Great Smoky Mountains Story. It's the story of a flying squirrel who falls into a red squirrel's nest one night and mayhem ensues. The concept for Sabrina didn't actually start with an idea that I had. It came from my editor, Steve Kemp. He wanted a story about flying squirrels and he also wanted a story about how important it is to accept people that are different from you, um, how differences can be a good thing. So from there, um, I started thinking about, okay, um, what happens? A baby flying squirrel falls into a nest of red squirrels, and red squirrels are really feisty. They don't take very kindly to a flying squirrel falling into their nest because she looks a little different from them. She's got arm flaps and, you know, she doesn't realize she's a flying squirrel yet either. Um, all she knows is she's fallen into this new home among these strangers that kind of look like her too. So it just so happens that uh, one night Sabrina, who's up because flying squirrels are nocturnal, is sitting around awake. The red squirrels are sleeping, you know, don't hear a thing, and an owl comes in and invades the nest. And Sabrina, being the only one awake, uh, warns everybody that there's an owl coming in and is could possibly eat them. Um, everybody takes off, mayhem ensues. Sabrina uh, gets away, I won't tell you how because that's the exciting part of the story that you'll just have to buy the book and read it and find out what happens. I think kids will like the story, um, number one, I think they'll like the artwork and the puppets. The idea of using puppets in uh, illustrations is kind of a fun idea. These are very simple puppets for this particular book that I built with wire armatures and wool felting. As you can see, Sabrina's head pops off that's because I created more than one head for Sabrina with different expressions. So for each scene, when her expression changes, I can swap out the heads very easily. And you can see that she's poseable too. That's because she's got the wire armature, or almost like a skeleton, where you can move the parts. Once I create the puppets, I photograph them in different poses, and then I take them onto my computer. I use Adobe Photoshop, bring in photographs of the puppets and then create the illustrated backgrounds. And then I combine the puppets with the illustrated backgrounds to make the pictures. I think kids will like the element of danger that Sabrina finds herself in. Um, there's a real threat because there's an owl that comes swooping in and could possibly eat her and the rest of the red squirrels and she figures out a way to save the day. So it uh, involves an exciting story, it also involves courage and I think that's something that um, kids need to remember that uh, that's how you learn to get through life. There are dangerous situations in the world um, and Sometimes you need to learn how to outwit those situations. That's an important thing. That's what Grimm's fairy tales used to teach us.